Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do the January 31st Spiritual Principle a Day in a Meditation. All right, had to use some creativity today in order to do this one. Uh, the title of the meditation is Having Empathy for Each Other. As I sit here in my cell, I know there are people out there following in my footsteps, and it brings tears to my eyes because I know the pain they are feeling. Behind the walls is Narcotics Anonymous for you. Before we find NA and a path toward empathy and healing, a lot of us find jails first. Some of us follow predecessors into a life we see no way out of. Others of us just see opportunities to take advantage, to make money, and to get one more that leads us down a similar path. And we take them because we're addicts. We push away those who care about us. We end up desperately trying to gain control because we have completely lost it. We live in constant fear and shame and do whatever we can to suppress those feelings. We refuse help. We end up locked up. For many of us, this cycle repeats over and over. Along the way, we get exposed to NA and life behind bars gives us time to consider our choices. We can continue down the path of self-destruction and harming others, or we can follow one toward healing that is available to any addict through the 12 steps. We opt for the latter and begin to follow different predecessors. We are shown empathy by our fellow recovering addicts through H&I, at NA meetings run by other inmates, or when just a couple of us get together and make a meeting. We work a program in whatever way we can. Our hearts open, particularly to those we're locked up with who we see struggling with their disease. We think of those from our past who are still running. We pray they find the hope and freedom that we found. Word travels fast inside, so it's no secret that we're in recovery and available to help. We do our best to draw people to us instead of pushing them away. We try to be a good role model. And when the opportunity strikes, we reach out to the still suffering addict. We seek healthy companionship and solidarity with one another. We empathize with the pain of each other's past and with the struggles recovery entails. I will take whatever actions I can to help others find and stay on the path that I found. Two addicts make a meeting and I will be one of them. I will let another addict know you never have to use again. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you.